welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning another question which you may be asked what is the best way to find minimum of five columns or five major values for a given table row or a visual row so basically what you have the values are not in different different rows typically what happens if you have the a column let's say column one and you have a set of value one two three four five and you can use a minimum function it will give you minimum value or you can use min x depending on the need but let's say if you ha have five columns or five majors and you want to find minimum of that then how would you do that so if you only need to find the minimum value between two columns or two majors you can use min function simply min function it can be used across two columns or two majors take an example when we go to the power bi desktop you can use that but what should we do when we have five not one so in that case you have to use min x now before you use min x you need to get these curly braces to create a table what curly brace does it it can create a table for us once we have a table we need to understand what is going to be the column name of that table and then we can take minimum of that so min x expression allows you to create the table in the table part and in the expression part we can use that column value so let's jump out of the power bi we have few things which we need to understand here so i am there on the power bi now here first of all i want to understand what this curly brace is going to give me i'm saying it's going to create a table i want to understand what would be the column name of that table and how that it look like so let's take in a single example go to the table view so before i found out how can i take min across five columns let me see how using angular brackets i'm going to get a new table so i can see the new table option under the home tab let me go ahead and you know try that out so let's call it as a test table left hand side we give the name and in right hand side in the angular bracket let me give one comma two comma three comma four some numbers i am giving for our interest let's give five so we have given five values you can see this is coming as five rows if i'm able to give five columns it's going to give me five columns as a table and the column name is going to be value can i take a minimum of that so let's go ahead and say min x now min x required table as the first argument so we have given a table which is one two three four five in the angular bracket is a table expression what i want is an expression let like the value column so we'll give value now why it is giving error this is not a table let me convert this into a table now so i'm getting a minimum value of one which is fine now let's look at our table do we have something to find out a minimum so i'll go to the item table and in item table i have this item id brand id category id subcategory ID I have the four columns so let me try to find out a minimum IDs of these most of the time it could be item ID but let's see how can I found out minimum of five values four values or minimum of four columns or five so here I'm going to create a new column there I created a new table now I'm going to create a new column here and that was the question I click on a new column which is under the column tools once you click on any of the column you will get a new column so I got a, this new column and in this new column I'll say min and we'll say min x and then we know we need to create this table using these five columns. So we will use this angular bracket start. Let's use item ID, brand ID, category ID. subcategory ID all I'm using numeric right now and I'll close the angular bracket it means I got my table and in that particular row now for that particular row I have a table and I cannot have more than one value so I need a minimum to get the column value because I'm creating a column and I can have a unique value in that and the column would be value column and let me press enter so I created a new column and you can see that in this new column, I'm getting 
one two two and this is because one of the value is minimum so item id one was minimum now here uh, i again the item id is minimum but so in this row the item id is minimum in this row item id is minimum in this row category id is minimum which is two now uh, in this row again the category id is minimum again two same here now again here three is category id which is minimum let's see something else is minimum in this case we should have two again which is basically both brand id as well as the subcategory id is minimum and you can see the value here so in this manner we are able to find out minimum now we have not used the minimum function we would like to see whether minimum function works because typically what we have done for minimum function is we have used the minimum function as you know simply for a column we have not used for two scalar values or something like so item id and category id i'm using it on two and as you can see i'm able to get minimum of two values also using minimum function so minimum function can give that now let me go to the report view and in the report view i would like to add a new page and here i would like to find out minimum of five values major values first of all let me put a table visual in that table visual let me put four five majors i need to have five majors if i go to the base majors i have cogs very good cross two majors margin three majors net major we should have a one more major discount major so i have five major i want to find out what value is minimum out okay. and if you use let's say brand or something in that particular row it should all so first let's create a major so let me click on the new major which is available under table tool the same is also available under the home tab and let me create a major this is min of 5 in same way min x angular bracket start first is gross second is cogs in the order little bit should not matter margin net discount five of them angular bracket close table created for the row now for that row i can only return a value for a row value means the field which i want to show can only have one value so i need to take the minimum of those you can if you want maximum you can use max x so i have used min x because i'm use need a min here you can use max x if you need max so let me search this and add it to visual okay and as you can see one of the values which is coming minimum and seems fine to me what more thing we can test it out what happen if i bring something into this visualization like kind of a group by will it also work there we have bought a group by and as you can see it's still working on that so because major do take the row context and filter data based on top of that means for each row it they're going to have the data so these are bigger numbers this is for four 76k this is 311k this is only 52k 363k and 112k and minimum was 50k margin that's what is coming here so in this manner you are able to find out minimum or the maximum values for multiple column values or majors so in this manner you can answer this particular question so go ahead and try that out Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you